Katie is only seven, but has already been through six and a half years of therapy. All these kids want to walk. All these kids want to talk. A lack of oxygen in the womb causes some forms of cerebral palsy. Limited motor skills and speech are her biggest challenges. Therapy helps. Nice big steps. Good work, Katie. But it's not a cure. At the moment, there isn't one. But scientists are hopeful they found a way to repair the damage to the brain. Using nanotechnology is really interesting. Um, nanotechnology and medicine, I think, is going to open some new frontiers. By working on a tiny scale with nanotechnology, scientists were able to deliver an anti-inflammatory drug to the affected brain cells. They attached the drug to something called dendromas, minuscule branch molecules. The dendroma is able to slip through what's called the blood-brain barrier. That normally keeps most things out. Once inside, the dendromas are able to deliver the drug directly to the inflamed cells. This also goes beyond cerebral palsy. There's also the potential for treatment of other brain conditions, such as Alzheimer's, meningitis, or multiple sclerosis. Scientists tried out their theory on rabbits. On day one, a newborn rabbit with cerebral palsy can barely move. Five days after treatment, it's functioning nearly as well as a healthy newborn rabbit. They can go into these cells and develop and deliver the poison that shuts these cells down. When you do that, you can have a dramatically positive motor function improvements. Scientists say the study was so successful that they're hopeful that years from now it will have the same effect on humans. So is Sherlin. He dreams of driving a car someday. He has the mental capacity to do it, but lacks the reflexes. So if they could do that for humans, would you do it? Mm. Nanotechnology may yet help patients like Katie reach their full potential and reward her for her hard work in trying to overcome cerebral palsy. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.